Welcome to the When It Matters podcast, brought to you by Kirkwood Bank and Trust. This podcast provides in-depth interviews with business owners and banking experts about how to better your financial health and be prepared for the moments that matter. I'm Stephen Allard, loan officer with Kirkwood Bank and Trust. Today's guests are Stephanie Delmore and Susan Lundberg, founders of Sleepy Hollow Theater in Bismarck. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. First off, how did Sleepy Hollow get started? Well, it really, <clears throat> there's a, a line from the Fantastics. You wonder how these things begin. <laughs> well, this begins in a gland. And our story really begins on a family trip. We, uh, a driving trip that we took from here to the West Coast, East Coast, you know, over about three weeks. And, you know, my mother and father, Stephanie and me and our two children. And so we, you know, dad asked, well, if you had lots of time and money, where would you go and what would you do? And we all, you know, the kids were going to Disneyland and, you know, we all kind of just talked about that. And he said, well, if you had time and money, what would you do in Bismarck? And we all just jumped on it. We'd start a theater. Well, how would we do that? We don't have any money. Okay, well, the Civic Center was going up. Of course, the first thing they threw out was a theater and, um, and so forth. And we thought, we kind of shook it down and we're traveling and many miles and so forth. Well, we start an outdoor theater that does not compete with schools. I mean, students are relatively free in the summer and it would be something that we knew about and experienced and so we could just add to that. Well, Dad loved jazz. Mother played in an orchestra. Susan's a music major and I was in fashion design, so theater it seemed like a perfect fit. <laughs> so it was very, very natural. <laughs> it just yes. kind of just came to you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, and then we had, you know, so we came back with this idea you know, found this park that was, you know, on the edge, outside the edge of town at that time in 1989. Mm. And it was never going to be a ball diamond, you could see, because it was hilly and so forth. And we had community meetings uh, that were called at Bismarck Parks and Rec. And, you know, with the idea of the question, what does Bismarck need? And we said it needs programming for youth. And Steffi and I, you know, dragged Maine with the best of them and <laughs> sat in the big boy parking lot and kind of didn't know what to do with ourselves. And we thought, How, has it changed that much? You know, kids still need constructive things. And if, we've had hundreds of thousands of people at Sleepy Hollow. Mm -hmm. And that's saying a lot, starting from scratch. And I should say the first year in 1990, um, we had lines went all the way out to the parking lot. I mean, it just went. People were hungry for things. The kids were hungry. And it, it just, it, we've just kept going. So when everybody hears of Sleepy Hollow, they know about your, your large productions every summer um, in the month of July. What, uh, what other opportunities do you guys provide for youth in, in Bismarck, Mandan? Well, one of the things, and all of the theater teachers are so happy, we costume most of the area high schools and Mary College and Dickinson Trinity and Hazen and Beulah. So we give support to many of those. As the directors say, with teaching and directing, if they had to do costumes too, it would become overwhelming. You know, so we do that and get to know the kids and, and the directors so we support each other. We've had dance classes, you know, during the year. We have acting classes. We, we had to do that. We also do our winter show now. We did Make Your Own Kind of Music, which was 60s music, mm -hmm. which was great fun. Mm -hmm. And they were just standing up and hollering about it and everything. So we're keeping on expanding expanding what we're, what we're doing and so that we're giving adults opportunity when the kids are busy with their school years and their music and everything else. So, so we just, we'll keep adding and adding because we're those people. <laughs> That's right. Lots of ideas. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, we love working with you guys. We do sponsor a Kirkwood Bank night where we come and have supper and then we come and watch your show. Um, how important is that community support um, to your organization? Well, it's absolutely essential. I mean, we're here to all work together. And of course, together is how we're gonna get things done. You know, if other people don't believe in you, if 
it takes wind out of sails. It's a complicated relationships you have to build over all these years. When people will ask us, well, how did you just do it? And you think there's so many building blocks, so many things, yeah. and you get an idea that doesn't quite work, so you wharf it into something else. So you gotta direct it with another idea. So we stay fluid with ideas, but the commitment and the belief from the community also gives air, as they say, under our wings as well. So this is the When It Matters podcast. Is there a, a moment in the history of Sleepy Hollow that has really made it what it is today? I can't think of a single one. There's so many, you know, and we never doubted what we were doing was the right thing to do. It, it hasn't changed at all. Well, I remember one moment um, and Arlene Horde, Shirley Steiger, came back and she said, we're a success. And I said, there's not that many people in the audience. It's really hot. And she said, no, no, none of our kids are alone. So they're all sitting backstage talking and interacting. And, you know, kids from all over and different styles of people and so forth. But they're all getting along. And that's really the success that you want. Yeah. And I think, as you say, every year has a new hurdle. You think after 32 years, have we seen it all? Oh, it'll keep running oh, at yeah, us. It keeps changing. You know, we've had sets blow off stage. You know, you get the horrific things. And then you will also, everyone comes together. Our warehouse flooded. People showed up. Oh, Our kids showed up. You do it. So I think that people help you keep surviving, yeah. you know. What is your fondest memory of the last 30 years? Well, it's the people, it's the kids. Um, and so, you know, we run into them and then sometimes, you know, we've had a lot of kids through and so forth and they've kind of changed and so forth. And every single one of them we run into says, oh, those summers we had, oh, it was just changed my life. And we just ran ran into our, 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 our gal, uh, Chantelle Albers, who was um, an hour from a little town, an hour out, and she came and, and, and was telling us she's living in Hollywood, making films, doing acting. And you know, I mean, that's just amazing. A lot of kids find their first friend. They're, yes. you know, that the kids are not alone. It makes it worthwhile. Yeah. Where can people connect with you and learn more about Sleepy Hollow Theater and Arts Park? S-H-T-A-P dot org. Uh, and so, and we're on social media and Facebook and uh, Twitter and all those sort of things. Well, thank you ladies for joining me today. And thank you very much for all you do for the Bismarck and Mandan community. Well, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate Kirkwood Bank. Thanks for listening to this episode of the When It Matters podcast. Subscribe for new episodes and connect with us online at Kirkwood Bank and Trust on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And for more information or to speak with one of our financial experts, visit KirkwoodBank.com. Kirkwood Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender.